Hello and welcome back to the wood shop. It is May Timber 7th. Topo coasters. Okay, so I hope y'all didn't mind that style of video, but it's day seven and I'm getting a little bit, uh, eh. This video was a good example of how YouTube, everything just works out perfectly. What I didn't show is I was trying to make six of these. Uh, one of them exploded uh, because my bit dropped because I didn't tighten it enough because I was more concerned about getting a cool camera shot than I was about making sure that the project worked out well. So uh, one of them just didn't even get cut out. Um, some of the tabs didn't work out because, you know, the bit dropped and then it just started carving its path between. <sighs> you get it. But these four turned out really well. Eh? 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 Uh, so these are walnut. Yeah, it's probably not the most economical choice, but as far as price goes, people aren't going to probably pay more than $20 for coasters. Um, that's, you know, $5 uh, a piece. So if I were you, I'd probably do this out of pine and then stain it a walnut color. It is a great scrap wood project. Uh, I did mine at three quarters of an inch, but honestly, you should probably do yours at half of an inch. That V-bit that I'm using is the Groovy Jenny. It is the first of its kind. It is a down shear V-bit, which means that when you're using that cutting masking film, it pushes down the edges of the masking film, leaving you a nice crisp edge when you're painting in for your projects when you're doing V-bit stuff. That was a 90 degree, but there's also a 60 degree variant, and that 60 degree would have given you a little bit deeper grooves on these if you wanted to go that route, but I use the 90 for most everything that I'm doing, so 90 for this one. Everybody buys coasters. Uh, they're all around people's houses all the time, so that is a very easy impulse purchase for people, whether that is in person at a market or online as some type of a gift. Uh, it'll be very easy to personalize these. You just don't assign tool paths to certain sections and then leave those blank and you could put in people's initials, all kinds of stuff. I think this is a very versatile file, and um, I like the design a whole lot. So, they will be linked on my Etsy page. Sheesh, seven days, seven projects. We still have, what, 23 to go? Oh my gosh. 
Let's see what tomorrow's project is. Oh, tomorrow is a really good one. Um, it's kind of the same as the old one, but different and better, I think. See y'all tomorrow.